kids. Today we'll be reading Five Minute Bible Story. Clap your hands. Let's start with the Mickey World. Long ago, when God began to make everything, the earth was dark and empty. God said, Earth needs light, and light appeared. God made the sun to shine by day, and the moon and stars to light the night. God was pleased with what he had done. Say this. Dear God, thank you for making your beautiful world. Amen. Have you ever seen the moon light up the, sl the night sky? God fills the world. God said, I will make grass and flowers and trees to cover the earth. Then he made all kinds of creatures. He made fish to swim in the rivers and seas. Birds and butterflies to fill the air, and animals big and small to play on the land. Now say this, thank you God for all the different birds and animals, and for the sounds they make. Amen. What sorts of big and small animals live near you? It could be any animal, even a cat. Adam and Eve. God wanted someone to love, so he made Adam and Eve to be his friends and to take care of his earth. What plants and animals can you see in the garden? This, 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 this. Adam and Eve were very happy in God's garden. Repeat this with me. Thank you, God, for making people and making me. Amen. Forbidden fruit. Blue on the forbidden tree look delicious. Why not try it? The snake asked. But Adam. No, wait, no. But God said, We would die, said Eve. Don't listen to God, the snake whispered. Repeat this. Dear God, I'm sorry for sometimes being disobedient. Please forgive me. Amen. Why do you think Adam and Eve ate the fruit? So Eve picked some and sailed with it with Adam. God was sad that they had disobeyed him. Now Adam and Eve had to leave God's garden. Now let's go somewhere else. Okay, children, now listen to me pray. Let's go. You gotta try your best to build the right amount of air. <laughs> now that might be a little bit too li that little air. Let's try to make it the right amount. That's it.
be okay. Put that back in. Now it's all about the animal. You see a cute little puppy. Don't just pet it. It might bite you. If it bites you, it will hold a lot. You should ask permission from the owner if it bites. Does your dog bite? No, she doesn't bite. They, they, oh, they might say this. Does your dog bite? Yes, and it's really painful. Don't touch her, please. And don't clip cat's nails. It's very, very cool to them because they need their nails. Just take her nails out like this and then clip it. And she won't like it. It will be very cool to her. If cat's ears fall down, you should leave them alone because they're very sad. They're very scared, maybe. If your ears are like this, completely down, then you should leave them alone. They're upset. If you ever get a fish, be careful what type of fish you get. If it's a beta fish, it will not get along with other fish. And if you get a beta fish, make sure it lives in some clean water with other fish. And if you have a normal fish, make sure it lives in salt water, not clean water. Beta fish don't get along with any type of fish. And if they puff up, that means they don't like something. Like he just puffed up. If you didn't see it. Hello, everyone. Do not judge each other of how they look. Give them a second chance. Don't judge them by how they look. By their skin color, their voice, or what they're wearing, or how they look like. Like, do not touch the cover of a book. Hi, do you want to play? No. Ew, you look disgusting. Green, ew. Is that a green? That's disgusting and nasty. And the hell. Ew, I'm not going to play with you. Don't be like that. Instead, be like this. Do you want to play? Um, okay, so I'll play with you. Why is your hair green? It's, it's not green. It's emerald color. It's emerald hair. Oh, okay. Let's play now. Appearances don't matter. Don't judge a book by its cover. If you see a kid, kid with green hair and you don't like it, and they ask to play, just say so. Or ask them, um, is your favorite color green? Don't be mean and say, ew, no, I don't want to play with you. Your hair is so gross. That will hurt their feelings. And would you like if you had green hair and someone said, ew, disgusting. No. So don't do that. Don't judge a book by its cover. And also remember, if you guys, guys have so much different and you barely have anything in common, you could still be friends. Differences can be strengths. You're too different to be friends. I'm not your friend anymore. More. You hate everything, almost everything I like. Do not be like that. Instead, be like this. We have a lot of different, but it could be strengths. It could only bond us as friends. Because everything we know could be useful to each other. So we can just still be friends through all differences. You should be like this. Not not like that other clip I showed you. Well, goodbye. Wave goodbye.